Wylock 5th grade lesson 8, write and evaluate expressions. Write an algebraic expression for each word phrase. So for number 1, some number plus 6. So some number can represent x and you add plus to the x. So you're going to write it like x plus 6. Next one, 8 less than a number. So a number should represent x over here, and 8 should be subtracted from the number. So 8x minus 8. Some number multiplied by 5. So some number represents x and it's multiplied by 5 so try that on your own and i will give you the answer it should be 5x so 5 times x Next one, try that on your own. Let's try number six. 12 divided by some number. How would you do that? The number is x again. 12 divided by the number, so you do 12 divided by number. The difference between a number and 3. The difference is the same as subtraction, so you're just going to subtract 3 from x. So you do x minus 3. Next one should be fairly easy. So number 9. 4 less than 3 times a number. I will give you 20 seconds to, to try that. It should be 4 minus 3x. Next one is half of some number plus 10. So half of x plus 10. How would you write that? 1 half x plus 10. The rest, try them yourself. So these ones, you're going to flip it and you're going to translate each algebraic expression into words. So, like, we found the algebraic expression with the words here, but now we're going to find the expression into the words. So, the first one is k plus 9. How would you write that in two words? There's, you could write it in two different ways. I will write it in a number, which is k, plus 9, or 9 more than a number k. They both work, but just choose the one you find them more easier and more like more quickly you can do so like for number two how would you do it i like this one in a number z less than 11 or you can also do 
11 minus a number z. They're both perfectly fine. It's just the form and it's just up to you. Number three and four is what we did. Let's try number six. So now we see division signs. So I wonder how you would do that. I'll give you 20 seconds. So I would say you can do a number divided by 4. If you want to do it more fancier way, you can use the quotient of a number m and 4. But this one might be a little bit confusing because you might struggle finding out which number is getting divided. So I would recommend the first one, this one, but it's really up to you. Next one is 3p. So it's just 3 times p, right? So you do 3 times a uh, number p. Next one, a squared minus 4. So you have to let them know that a is squared in words. So I would do the square of a number minus 8. Okay. You can also do a less than the square of a number a. This a represents the coefficient a, not just a, it's just a as the x. The rest try on their own. We will try some of these. So, number one. Subtract 10 from a number. You will just do x minus 10. A number plus x. x plus 1. Take 15 away from a number x minus 15. 6 reduced by a number, 6 minus x. Like these, try them yourself and good luck.